I'm Roberto LaRusso from Red Arms, and this is episode 7 of Robertones. <laughs> On this week's episode of Robertones, we're going to be taking a look at the Strymon Alcapistan Tape Modeling Echo Pedal. This particular pedal is designed to mimic all those classic tape delays that you could get back in the late 60s and early 70s. What's absolutely fascinating about the research and development that they did into this particular pedal is they really did try to capture all of those very cool nuances of those machines, including the effects of worn out tape, crinkle tape, wow and flutter, and all of these features. Now, with this much technology going into this, uh, you can expect that the price point on these are a, a bit high. And for around $400 Canadian, which is fairly steep for a pedal, I'm gonna argue that this is well worth it for what you get with this pedal. It is really quite remarkable. So let's do a quick review of all the gear that we're gonna be using this episode. So starting off, we have the Hiwat Custom 100 from the mid 70s. The Trainer TS200 from the late 70s. My absolute favorite, the Epiphone Sheridan 2 my current iteration of my pedal board, but we have something different. We've added a couple of mics to the setup. On the high watt, we have the Sennheiser 509, and on the trainer, we have the Sennheiser 906. This should help us capture a more authentic sound coming out of the amplifiers uh, with a little less of that compression artifacting that we were getting with the onboard microphones. For this demonstration, we're gonna keep the tone, for most of it, very clean. So I'm just gonna be using the Joyo American Sound my compressor and my EQ pedal to have a, well, my version at least of a clean tone. So let's start off again. Something simple, something nice and clean. So what's particularly wonderful about the El Capistan is how much attention to detail um, Strymon made in order to make this pedal really authentically sound like these old tape uh, delay machines um, that have been around since the 1950s. Right down to the detail of getting the uh, wow and flutter, the crinkle tape, down to the biasing, every single little detail. Now, as you can imagine, with that amount of research and development to go into getting an authentic sound, the pedal is gonna have that high price point, but it is absolutely worth it because it really does sound like the real thing. And it's incredible that the controls actually behave similarly to the way the controls would operate on these vintage tape machines. So we're going to start off with um, a, just a clean tone. So we're going to go with the Joyo American Sound pedal and my compressor and of course my EQ pedal. Nice and clean. Nothing special about it. Um, I also have the Expression pedal hooked up to the, um, to the Strymon pedal. The Expression pedal can be set up to affect any one of, number of the sounds. I have it set up for the repeats, um, but you can also have the Expression pedal for the amount of mix as well as the tape speed or the playhead um, for whatever creative um, endeavor you wish to do. There's a lot of flexibility. I have it set to the number of repeats. So right now I have it set to very uh, few repeats. So let's engage the pedal. So as you can see, I just have it set up to one single repeat. But if I bring in the, um, start adjusting the delay time, the number of repeats, and then the pedal starts feeding back in on itself which is absolutely amazing. So you get this crazy sort of atmospheric. So if you really want to make the next slow dive record, this is your toy. goes into chaos and you can dial it back. So what are some of the features that you can have with this? Well, you can see the knobs on it right now. The ones that you are visible, the, the primary functions are obviously the time. Now the way the time works depends on which mode you have. Um, on one of the modes, the time basically effect, it has the same equivalent effect as motor speed. So if you slow down the motor, uh, that will uh, that'll affect how much delay you have. If you speed it up, it'll shorten the delay time. 
The other mode, and the mode that I currently have it in, is head position. So essentially this, if you have the playhead and the recording head, it shifts over the playhead um, so that that inc increases your delay time or it shortens it. Um, and that gives a different effect of when you change the time. Whereas with the um, other mode, the relative position between the playhead and the record head is fixed and you just adjust the tape speed to um, affect the, the time. So they functionally do the same thing, but the way they react to adjusting the time uh, is, is quite different. So let's actually mess around with that right now. So right now I have it in the shifting playhead mode. So I'm gonna get a lot to repeat so you can actually hear the effect. So some of you might recognize that this kind of has a similar sort of sound to what you would get on uh, OK Computer by Radiohead. They, they played with a lot of these, these types of um, pieces of gear on those records. And it's just really nice that now you can get something similar in a pedal format. OK, let's dial it back a bit. So now let's get into the other mode. And the other mode is where you're actually adjusting the motor speed. So it's, it's a different effect, but equally as fun in terms of uh, what you can do with it creatively. The other mode that I really like about this is the multi-tap mode. Uh, sorry, my apologies, not multi-tap, multi-head mode, which means that it has multiple playheads. So this gives you your uh, a couple of extra little repeats in there for a single strum. Um, this is pretty effective when you're doing sort of like dub reggae kind of stuff. We can also tap the rhythm in there. So. So it is really quite powerful with what you can do with this thing. It's, 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 it's amazing. So now with the, uh, with the multi-head mode, there are three different configurations where you can actually have, have them. If I recall, it, it uh, simulates four different playheads and you can either have the first two, um, the first and the third, or the second and the fourth. Um, and that's the three different possible modes that it gives you. And let's uh, see what they sound like. And this is what I just had. So the timing, then. So it gives you lots of options. So now the next thing I want to talk about, so I'm going to go back into my, um, my single mode here, the one that I, I, I generally play in. Now this, wow and flutter, this gives it that sort of, almost that chorusing effect. Now if I dial it back a little bit, there is less modulation on the repeats. Turn it back up, because I like it quite a bit high. Now tape age is really neat, because it makes it sound like what happens when the tape wears out. And when the tape wears out, all the brightness is gone. I prefer to have the new tape sound. Now, as far, as far as secondary functions, they've included a lot of very useful ones. Under the time, the secondary function is a spring reverb, so you can actually get reverb and delay. Um, 
With the Tape Age one, it's for your high end and low end roll off with repeat, so it can sound, uh, you can either have wider bandwidth or limited bandwidth. Um, under the repeats is your bias mode, and what that basically means is how much headroom you have. Um, effectively, if you want the repeats to sound distorted or not, um, I prefer them not to sound as distorted, so they're a little bit louder in the mix. And under Wow and Flutter is Tape Crinkle, so you can actually simulate how much damage has been done to the tape. You know, with old cassettes, if you uh, had a bad player, it could actually um, bend the tape. And that crinkling sound also adds to the character. So there's so much that you can do with this pedal. I could spend an hour doing this demonstration, but uh, I'm just going to let you uh, explore it yourselves. Uh, it's a worthwhile investment. It, it is, if there's one echo pedal slash delay pedal that you could get, I, I would recommend this one if you can afford it because it is really quite fantastic. Anyway, so that's it for this week on Rivera Tones. Um, we're just going to close it out with just a little bit of uh, uh, noise experimentation just so you can see some of the fun things that we can do with it. So thanks again. See you next week. <laughs>